Smart Comp 2 comes with a lot of features to precisely shape the plugin's sound, such as the style control and attack and release shaper. The style control allows me to choose either clean for a transparent, subtle sound, or dirty for a tight, warm, and punchy sound, or any mix of the two. This bass line needs a little more character in the mix. I'll set the style to be heavily skewed towards dirty, which will give it a little bit of overdrive. This guitar line already sounds good to me as it is, so I'll leave the style as clean for a neutral and transparent sound. For this drum loop, I'll set a style skewed towards dirty to get a punchy and present sound. I'll also set an attack time of 50 milliseconds to make the break sound full without killing my signal's transients. And in order to retain liveliness in the signal, a fast release time ensures that the gain reduction triggered by the last hit fades out before the next hit. SmartCop 2's attack and release shaper allows me to take control of the way the attack and release are applied by the compressor. At its base setting, the compression will fade in or out linearly. This setting will fade the compression in very quickly at the start of the attack time and then level off. Transients will be compressed heavily with this setting, making it suitable for controlling drum transients. This setting will fade the compression in fairly slowly, leading to a smoother sound. It is suitable for melodic signals, such as vocals. Leaves are falling from my shadows, and in between the lights and arrows.